welcome back friends after many days later we are again uh, doing this video and this video will be on the series video series that we have started that is about the respiration of human being and usually not human being also respiration of vertebrates will be covered here now this is the first video of the respiration series and i want to tell you some important uh, concepts before going into the details of respiration and uh, among them uh, some of the terminologies are important that we need to know so we'll begin with those terminologies so respiration is our topic respiration is our topic and among this part we'll be talking about some terminologies and especially and the overview of the respiration will be given so respiration is carried out in two different ways one is internal respiration another one is external respiration so this is very very important respiration is actually occurring in two different sections internal respiration and external respiration you might think the respiration or you might have known the expiration normal way the respiration that is uh, using lungs uh, we are taking oxygen we are releasing carbon dioxide out this particular th thing is among the external respiration this is not internal and this in external respiration is uh, in a macro scale but when you go into the miniature scale because each of our cells require oxygen now if you want to know that what is the purpose of respiration the sole purpose of respiration is to supply oxygen to each and every cell of your body right so so that they can get the oxygen and all the tasks that are there inside your body the oxidation stuffs that go finely right so, so to deliver oxygen to the cell it requires to take up oxygen and that machinery to take up oxygen is built with this external respiration involving lungs and other system like trachea trache trachea whole respiration respiratory system of our body total physiological and anatomical section that is built there now behind that another set of respiration is there and that is the miniature level it's called the internal respiration where exactly the oxygen is carried into each of our cells and it is delivered and it is brought about by remember red blood cell or rbcs of your body they are the major players they will bind with the oxygen that you take up using uh, this uh, your lungs then it will take through it it will move through uh, your blood stream then it will bring it to your cells so there is a cross talk between this external and internal respiration to finally to finally give so this occurs always first then this second or actually not actually first second we can tell that all of this external respiration as well as internal respiration are occurring all the time simultaneously but uh, according to the law that suppose we don't receive any oxygen it begins to give the oxygen then it brings it to the cell and finally at the end all of them bring this oxygen to cells right so here it comes this oxygen just came here and into cell similarly not only this process delivers oxygen to the cell but also it requires another task to fulfill and that is to take out carbon dioxide from the cell and to deliver it out of your body because too much of carbon dioxide can cause you trouble right so that is another important section and that is also carried out so let me talk here carbon dioxide is built here so this carbon dioxide is taken up similarly again by your blood stream through the blood stream it will brought to your lungs by external respiration this carbon dioxide will move out previously mind you previously oxygen is moving in through this internal respiration sorry external respiration right so this is the whole way of respiration is going on in your body and the most important one most important point which is governing all of this process and that thing is partial pressure of gas that is the most important point partial pressure of gas and what it is suggesting us partial pressure of gas means if we consider let's say if we consider a mixture of gases let's say in this case we are having a mixture let's say this is a this is one kind of gas this red dots this blue dots are another kind 
and let's say this green or another kind so if this is a mixture of gases now if you pick any one type of gas from here let's let's pick this red one if you pick this any one from here this red one in this case the pressure this red one applies this pressure is this red one applies among all of them is going to be equivalent the amount of this gas present in this mixture that is called the partial pressure of this particular gas because the amount it will impart onto the wall of your blood vessel in onto the wall of uh, your uh, alveoli of your lungs in every region is going to be exactly equivalent or exactly uh, not equivalent proportionate it, it will vary with same proportion with the amount of gas present in that mixture and that's the true thing right so once you know this partial pressure gradient that is very very important because this partial pressure partial pressure gradient this can do miraculous things like like say if you have a partial pressure high here so partial pressure high and a partial pressure low always gas try to flow from high partial pressure to low partial pressure that's the true thing always so whatever you will be seeing in the next few videos about the respiration internal respiration external respiration we'll be talking in all this case you are going to see that there is a beauty of this partial pressure gradient that is forcing a gas that is forcing a gas to move from one type one place to another place right so that's the overall thing about respiration i want you to know before going into the overview and discussion now in this video i just talked about how the cross talk is going on and what is actual thing but in the next video i'll be talking about the actual overview of external respiration then we'll be talking about an overview of internal respiration then we'll talk separately how internal respiration occurs how oxygen is brought inside the cell how carbon dioxide is taken out of the cell and remind you in all this case this respiration is kind of reversible process no point is irreversible so simply you know as there is a pressure gradient the pressure gradient can change with time so as it is changing with time this all process are reversible reversible in nature so as they are reversible in nature we can simply put this sign which means reversible right this is the sign of reversibility now this thing always occurs that means the way oxygen is taken inside the cell is kind of same the way carbon dioxide is taken out just the opposite of it right and I, i'm just quoting my point it's a kind of opposite of it and you're going to see all the processes are simply opposite from adding oxygen and deletion of carbon dioxide so that's in a sense is respiration guys and i hope that's helpful thank you